Hello, I'm Brian Hayes. I'm a Salesforce and Pardot consultant with Rotiv. We're an official Salesforce partner and we help small businesses automate their processes. This next video is a lesson from our one week Pardot course. If you find it useful, you can sign up for the complete course at academy.rotiv.io or by clicking the link in the description below. In this build video, we're gonna create a static list and we're gonna turn it into an internal test list. So we'll go through both. So you've got a good understanding of how to use them in your marketing. So first thing to do is let's go to the segmentation list screen. You get there by clicking on the prospects tab across the top and then clicking on segmentation on the left and segmentation lists right underneath that. So we've talked already about dynamic lists versus static lists. Let me show you how to make a static list. It's pretty easy. Just click add list in the upper right hand corner and by default it's static. If you check the box to make it dynamic, it'll then switch to dynamic. So some good examples of static lists would be any kind of list that you, you probably don't need to use over and over again, or a list that's not based on any specific data point within Salesforce. So example of the first kind, let's say you've got an event, right? Or maybe you've got a, you know, thank you campaign that you want to have go out. And so you only want that thank you email to go to people who attended the event or sent you a Christmas card, something along those lines. Well, it's kind of a one-time thing. It's not really something you're gonna to need to use over and over again. And so a static list would be just fine for that because we don't need it to automatically update. The people who are on it are on it because they did something in the past and we're gonna use it for a specific purpose. That second reason for using a static list is if there's no data point for us to use to pull people onto a list dynamically. So this might be VIP customers, as an example. Maybe we don't have a specific metric for VIP. It's not as if they spend more than $100,000 with us, they're VIP. Maybe it's just picking and choosing the customers that you love to work with the most, or the ones that have helped you in some way with testimonials or introductions. And so in that case, you're really you know, handpicking the people that would be on this list we don't have rules for that. So a static list is the right way to go there. So I'm gonna call this VIP customers, actually. I think that's a good name for our example. And of course you can add it to a folder within the system and you can apply tags. Now also take note of this email test list box. We're gonna come back here and check this a little bit later. For now we'll skip it because we're just making a normal standard static list. So click create list, there you have it. Here's our static list. Now the next thing is to put people on here. So we can put people onto a static list manually by going to their prospect record and say, we'll click into Alexis rows and click on lists. All our static lists are gonna show up here. There's our new VIP customers one. We can add Alexis Rose as a VIP customer and hit save there, pretty easy. You could also add people to static lists from these prospect list views throughout the system. So in Pardot, there's lots of different places where you might see a table of prospects just like this. In this case, we're under the pro, you know, Pardot prospects area, but this could also be a list of people that clicked on a link in an email, something like that. You can check this box and select everybody on this page of the table, or we can click this link in the middle and select everybody in this view, even if they're not on this page of the table. And at the bottom, you've got the option to add to list. So that's another way you can add people to a static list. The third way is to import them. So up here, import prospects, when you go through the process of uploading a CSV spreadsheet, it'll give you the option to add them to a list upon import. So this is great for brand new prospects because you got to add them to Pardot to begin with, but it's also good for people who already exist in Pardot. Maybe you've got a list of people you know are there in Pardot, but you have that CSV outside of Salesforce, outside of Pardot. You can just import them in, add them to a list in one go, and it's much faster than you know logging into each prospect record here and adding them manually. And then finally, the other way to add people to a static list is from the Salesforce side of the house. So if you mark a list as available to the CRM, CRM visible, then salespeople on the lead record or the contact record could add them to that list. And for something like VIP customers, 
you definitely want to make that CRM visible. So the salespeople who know the customers best are able to choose their top customers and add them to a list like that. So I came back to our VIP customers list here. And if you click the edit button in the upper right hand corner, you get this list information screen. It's the one we started with. And you can check a box here for CRM visible. And that's going to make it show up on the Salesforce side. So let me show you an example. If we you know, click on Alexis Rose here and we take a look at her contact record in the system, we'll be able to see that she's a member of that VIP list. In this particular setup, we've got a Pardot tab over here on the right, and we have a Visual Force component that is pulling in list membership from Pardot. Now you might have this under the details section, you might have it in, in a different area in the system, but it's available for anybody that has Pardot to add this component to your layout. And so a salesperson can then access any list here that is CRM visible to add or remove people from it. So maybe Alexis Rose is no longer a VIP customer, me as a salesperson, I can hit that little X and I can remove her from that list. This is also a really good way for you to create long-term nurture programs, say 90 day, six month long nurturers and give salespeople the ability to put people on those lists or to create lists of specific interests, interested in product A or product B. Again, when the salesperson's talking to them, you know, maybe they're not yet ready to buy, but they could then add them to that list for that product interest. And now moving forward, you're able to send them more relevant marketing material and hopefully convert them to a customer later. So those are the basics of a static list. You know, essentially there's no rules to add or remove people from it. That's all done manually. And you can do that by selecting a prospect individually or a lead or contact individually, if it's CRM visible, using a table within Pardot to add multiple people at one time, or by uploading and importing prospects here. There's a couple other ways to add people to lists as well, uh, and that would be through different automations. So, you know, if we've got a form that gets filled out, one of the completion actions could be to add them to a list, or we could use an automation rule or a segmentation rule or an engagement program and have steps in there that would potentially add them to a list as well. So we've got a number of manual ways to do it, but you can automatically add people to static lists. It's just an automation that's gonna be doing it for you rather than rules that are inherent in that list that are adding people or removing people from it. So let's talk a little bit about internal test lists now. I'm gonna come back here to segmentation and segmentation lists. And so we're getting a little better understanding what these different columns are. We already talked about what dynamic is, what CRM visible is, now we have test. So a test list is a list of prospects in Pardot that you can use for testing emails. So when you build out an email, which we'll go through in a later day, there's a step where you can test that email, which you definitely wanna do, and you can select from any of your available test lists to send that email out. And make sure it looks good across different phones and browsers, make sure it all looks great. And so we can actually take any of these static lists and turn them into an internal test list. So if I look at VIP customers here, and I edit it just like before, you know, we could check this box. And now our VIP customers is our test list because maybe they opted in to help us with our marketing testing. Probably not, so we'll uncheck that. So I'm gonna come back to segmentation lists. And right now we just have one test list called internal test list. But let's add another one. And I'm gonna call this sales team test list. So the nice thing in Pardot is you can create multiple test lists. And you'd likely want to do this because you've got different audiences within your business that you might want to bring in from time to time to make sure an email looks great before you send it. So most of our clients, they'll have a test list of just the marketing team, you know, maybe just one or two people that are actually building out the emails. They're kind of the first line of testing. And then they might have a sales team test list. So they're getting, you know, broader reach, getting more eyes on the material. And they might even have a third test list that has executives included as well. So occasionally they're gonna be sending out an email or a message on behalf of the CEO or the owner of the company. It'd be great to send them a test version of that first, get their final sign off before you hit send. And you can have all those test lists in the system. So we're gonna call this sales team test list. 
check the box here for email test list and click create list. Everything else works the same way as a standard static list that we've already been looking at. The one thing that's a little bit different about test lists is that we can add people to an internal test list from their user record. So an internal test list is still made up of prospects, prospect records within Salesforce with their name and email and whatever other details. But your colleagues are gonna be users in the system, not prospects probably. So if you go to Pardot settings and come over here to user management on the left and go to users, you'll get a list of the users within Pardot. You can select them in the table and the bottom dropdown here has an option to create prospect and add to test list. So this will automatically create prospects from the details of the user record. And so it saves you a lot of work trying to do that manually for testing. And it'll also add them to the test list of your choice at the same time. So I'm gonna add both of these users to the sales team test list. And what happens in between there is Pardot's gonna automatically create prospect records for each of these users for us. Hit go. And that's it. If we come back to our prospects tab and back to segmentation lists, we've got our sales team test list right here and we've got two prospects added to it automatically. And these prospect records have details that have been pulled from the corresponding user records. Thanks for watching that lesson from the one week Pardot course. If you'd like to see the other lessons, you can click the link in the description below or go to academy.rotive.io. And if you did find it useful, please hit the like button and click subscribe. Thanks for watching.